뭐야? 뭐한 년이야? Wir sind auf dem Fantasy Filmfest 2017 im Savoy Kino in Hamburg und äh, da werden wieder viele Genrefilme präsentiert. Einige davon kommen auf die große Kinoleinwand, andere sind geheime Perlen, die man sich zu Hause angucken kann. Wir schauen uns ein bisschen was an und sagen unsere Meinung dazu. So I saw your film Tragedy Girls and the story is uh, two girls uh, trying to become serial killers. How did you get the idea for this? Uh, we just started talking about like, I mean I'm a big fan of slasher movies, so is my uh, writing partner Chris. And so we started uh, talking about you know, things that we enjoyed and things that we always see and then uh, possible ways to kind of spin that. We thought it would be kind of fun to take the um, ladies who were usually victims in a slasher movie and make them the perpetrators and that kind of put us in this sort of behind the scenes kind of mindset. So was it hard for you to tr uh, find the actors for the girls? Uh, yeah, it was definitely f hard to find the actors. Uh, you know, like like tone was a big uh, difficulty for us. Like we wanted to keep a lot of, um, you know, like a button on that because like we didn't want to get too silly or too real like at the wrong times. And so we um, we talked a lot about that like in rehearsal with with the actresses, and they were very on board with that. And and kind of essentially gave us like a lot of options kind of on the day so we could dial it back and kind of fine tune it like in the edit. Um, but they they were great and really kind of understood like what we were going for and how it was satirical and a little absurd and, and kind of got behind the what we were saying. Can you tell us when the film will come out here? Uh, I'm not sure exactly here. Um, I know it comes out October 20th uh, theatrically in the United States. So it should come out like later this year, like I'm hoping November, uh, November, December, uh, here in, in, in Germany. One last question. Uh, your favorite slasher movie, what is it? Ooh, uh, I would say it's probably the original Halloween. Yeah, great one. You can't see. beat the best. You, you hear that they're going to uh, make a new one? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, Uh, the, some of the people over at Bloomhouse, or you know, they've got a handle on it, and uh, I know they, they've got David Gore Green directing, and, and I'm, I'm super excited to see it. Jamie the Curtis, I just heard, is coming back. Yeah. So I mean, you know, like, hey, that sounds good to me, you know. Jeez, Michaela. Shit. Damn it, okay. I'm sorry. Stay in character. Wir haben gerade 68 Kill gesehen und haben jetzt den Regisseur und Produzenten dabei. Hello, guys. How are you? Good. We just had our Hamburg premiere of 68 Kill. I think yeah. it went well. This was the uh, the German premiere. In fact, oh, yeah, it was a German absolutely. Premiere. Yeah, yes. um, absolutely German premiere of 68 Kill here at the wonderful uh, Savoy Theater in Hamburg. How get you the idea for the film? Uh, I read a novel by an American author named Brian Smith uh, and I read this book and I was like this is outrageous and fun and crazy and sexy and wild and I thought and it's within the realm of the budget that I think I could get my hands on I think I could do a really good job with this story. We just loved the, 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 the script that Trent had written. I actually never read the book um, but the, the script just sort of popped off the page and I think that was that was our thing wasn't it we wanted to make it make it pop was it more important to uh, focus on the characters or just a little bit of the splatter and the action I mean I definitely think that if you don't have a story with characters that we find interesting that we want to know what happens with them then you can decapitate people you can eviscerate people all day long and it gets kind of boring but it's the idea is to make the violence have impact and in order to make the violence have impact you have to have characters that are interesting that people care about. Lisa is uh, the yeah I would say the female protagonist But um, she's a little bit crazy. Uh, was it hard to find a person to fit for her, uh, the actor? I got extremely lucky and uh, Anna Lynn McCord embodies that character not only on the screen but I feel in many respects in her real life. 
and Anna Lynn, all three of my girls, I think, really fit what I had in mind for the characters. Where did you shot the movie? Uh, we shot the film in New Orleans and in and around New Orleans. Not the swanky parts, not the nice parts. Uh, it was pretty well trailer parks, really horrible motels. Actually, that motel was probably the most horrible location uh -huh. we shot in. Neighborhoods um, where you might get shot. Yeah, I was definitely. a bit nervous when we were scouting around. I thought we were going to get shot. So, uh, But it, it fitted the film. I mean, that was it. It's a grimy kind of low down place where these characters would live and I think that was a great place to shoot in that way. Did you in mind say okay it must be a little bit funny for the movie to work or did you say the, the fun parts came for itself? I feel like uh, the book that I based it on was a little bit meaner spirited, a little bit more exploitative which is great for what it is but me personally I, a lot of things I do. I wrote a movie called Cheap Thrills It's got some funny stuff in it, but it's sort of dark and weird. That's just the way my mind works. I mean, no matter what I do, I try to... Yeah, it's true. Wait, was it, was it supposed to be a comedy? <laughs> really? Yeah, I can't help it. I just want to make you happy. You know what would make me happy? $68,000. It's coming out in Germany very soon. On, yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Definitely, no, definitely, definitely. October yeah. 6th. Yeah. Ah, great. So in just a few weeks, it'll be available on Blu-ray yeah. and VOD and SD DVD. So, yeah. Everybody's going to get the chance to see it, so. This is not exactly what I'd call a healthy relationship, Chip. Yeah, no kidding. What's more than dein highlight from Fantasy Film Fest? Also ich fand gestern den Film uh, 68 Kill ganz gut. Das war so ein klassischer Road Movie, der eigentlich alles drin hatte, was man sich so wünscht von so einem Film. Und das war eigentlich dieses Jahr so der Film, den ich gut fand. Also muss ich sagen, auch wenn es natürlich der mainstreamigste Film ist, das war It bisher, ja. Weil der, das war einfach, ich hatte große Erwartungen und er hat sie komplett erfüllt. Ähm, weil ich großer Fan vom Original bin, muss man sagen, er hat es äh, so in seiner neumodischen Form fast getoppt. Dieses Jahr waren insgesamt viele gute Filme dabei, das war nicht immer so, aber dieses Jahr hat es mir echt gut gefallen. Und wirst du nächstes Jahr wieder erscheinen? Sowieso auf jeden Fall. Ich bin jetzt zum vierten Mal in Folge, davor habe ich einmal Pause gemacht und davor habe ich in Köln gewohnt, da war ich da zwei Jahre. Und seitdem geht es ja auch wieder hier dabei, also auf jeden Fall. Es ist festes Programm, sowohl die Nights als auch das richtige Filmfest. Ja, ich bin seit 31 Jahren, also solange es das Festival geht, bin ich dabei, jedes Jahr. Hab die ganzen Kinos, die es bis dahin gegeben hat, auch alle mitgemacht und ich werde definitiv nächstes Jahr wieder dabei sein. das Fantasy Filmfest 2017. Wir haben geheime Perlen gesehen, wir haben große Blockbuster gesehen, die irgendwann auch auf der Leinwand kommen. Wir hatten viel Spaß. Wir sagen Dankeschön Fantasy Filmfest. Wir sind definitiv nächstes Jahr wieder dabei und äh, bis dahin. Ciao, ciao.